everyone, Mr. Merkage here, and today I'm showing you part 45 in the How to Make a Skype Tool series. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up scheduled messaging. Uh, now, what this allows you to do is specify a time, and when that time is reached, according to your system's time, um, it will send the message to them. So you could be AFK, you could, let's say you need to go out, but you still need to get a message to someone at a specific time. This is what this is perfect for. Um, and it's especially good for business owners that operate around Skype and you need to message customers because you can merge this code with mass message code and end up with a mass message scheduler sort of thing. Um, so we're going to probably have to create a new tab for this because we're running out of room. Um, so I'll just add that new tab in. And we're going to need a few things. We'll get uh, a button, uh, a label and a text box but we're actually going to have to get a couple of these so we need this one's for the username this is for the time and this is for the message now this label is going to be we're going to have a label which is displaying the status of the message um, but we need to also copy another label because we want to actually be able to edit this one and by default this can be equal to uh, waiting or message and we're going to have it color coded so by default waiting for message let me just change that to a G waiting for message is going to be equal to custom red and then this button here will be for sending the message and we'll ha also have another button which we'll call cancel because you, it, let's say you send a message or schedule a message which you no longer want to send being able to cancel it uh, is very useful let me just align these up so that's the basic uh, look of this thing now let's go ahead and start creating it so this is textbox 42 43 and 44 um, so let's go ahead and do that we just want to do a basic check um, and see if textbox 42.txt is blank uh, because we basically don't want to allow them to send it if it's blank so if it is blank then we're going to dis display a message box real quick and tell them that it's blank please enter a username um, else if textbox 43.txt is blank we just want to do it for all three, uh, just because we don't allow anything to go through which shouldn't. Message box dot show. Uh, please enter a time in this format. Right, because I'm doing this, the format this is going to work in is zero zero, which is the hour. Zero co uh, colon zero zero, which is the minutes. Colon, and then we got the second. That's the format this is going to work in. This is just for the time, for the current day. But you could also have a date and do it. Let's say you're going on holiday. You could set a specific date and time and do it that way. But this video, I'm just showing you how to do time. Uh, so that's checking for that one. Else, if textbox 44.txt is equal to nothing, then messagebox.show. This one's for the message, so please enter a message. And then finally, if everything's filled, we all do our code. But we're gonna have to use a timer because we check we want to check if the time is equal to the current time every so often. So we go to the toolbox and quickly double click on a timer. So we got timer nine. If we open that up go into here we can just say timer 9 dot start now inside timer 9 uh, what we actually want to do is there's a built-in thing uh, if yeah, it's called time string and if we hover over it it will basically you'll see it returns a string value representing the current time of the day according to your system um, so that's what we're going to be using but there's also date time um, long date time and all stuff like that which you could use so if time string is equal to our text box which is going to contain it which is number 43 43.txt 
then the message is ready to s ready to be sent because the time is equal to the current time. Um, so what we want to do is say Skype dot send message. We want to send it to the username which they entered, which will be textbox forty two dot text, and the message they want to send will be textbox uh, forty four dot text like that. And because the message sent what we want to do is update our label now to let the user know that it's sent and change it to green so it's successful we can call or quickly grab the number of that label which is number 20 so label 20 dot text or for color we can do first see minutes it's there is equal to color dot green and then label 20 dot text is equal to message oops we need these speech marks message sent and that'll be that for that and because that's all done now we can say timer 9 dot stop because we no longer need to check if it's equal to the current time we can just stop the timer and get it ready for the next message but if it isn't equal to the current time we want to change the label to let's say an orange or yellow color and say message pending so that's easy enough to do label 20 dot four color is equal to four or equal to color dot yellow and then label 20.text is equal to uh, message pending just like so and then that would send our message but now let's go ahead and do the cancel button um, just in case obviously you do want to cancel a message um, but we only want to cancel it if a message is pending so the way we can just check for that is just check if our label is equal to yellow um, that, or we could check if it's the text is equal to that it's just a very simple way of checking that a message is pending so we can say if just paste that in then that way we know a message is pending so we can go ahead and cancel it so timer 19 or timer 9 sorry dot stop uh, because we just want to stop the timer from checking if the message is sending and we also just want to change the label back to its a default color which is by default red so equal to color dot red and then by default uh, the text is waiting for message so we'll just set it back to that waiting for message and that will be that there's just one more thing I want to go ahead and do and that is not set not allow it to send the message even it like when a message is pending um, so we'll create an if statement which all of our or ones that are already there will go inside and it's basically just going to be the same as this so we're just going to check if it is pending and if we come to the very top of our send button paste that in we just want to display a message box uh, and that will be able to say please uh, allow first message to send or cancel it first before sending another and that'll be fine and we can just say else carry on with what we're doing we just need to remove this end if that it automatically generated and then put it in down the bottom and remove that line there like that and that should be good to go so now let's give that a test we'll just launch that up So hopefully this will just work first time. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up. So the first text box, you might want to label it that this is the username, this is the time. But I'll send it to my test account, which is Trusion Skype bot. And the format I'll send, because uh, it's 941 right now, I'll send it at 0940 uh, two but I'll send it at 30 seconds in and then the message I'll send is this is just a test message um, we might be waiting some time so I'll just lower that down to 10 seconds in and I'll press send so as you can see I've pressed send and now it says status message is pending uh, so if I just head over to Skype and we'll wait and see uh, if I open this back up we'll wait and see if the message appears here 
at the time. So it's just gone 42, so we've got to wait 10 more seconds and it should send. So there you go. Uh, it's got to the time, it sent the message to my account, and you see our status has gone to uh, message sent. Um, the message to this Trujan Skype bot, as you can see, this is just the message, which is what we entered here. Uh, but it probably won't send just yet because this account isn't online. Um, what we could also do is, you see how we had the send button, let's say we sent another one. Uh, uh, 50 press send we could disable this button um, if we do that it says we had the statement allow the other message to send we could just disable this button if you really wanted but yeah you can see again the message is sent and it's ready to do another one so that is pretty much it for this video I hope you did enjoy it if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time